sheer effing hubris, Jean-Luc Picard. Sheer effing hubris. That's right, friends. We're going to talk a little bit about Jean-Luc Picard of best known for such series as Picard Season 1 and Picard Season 2. Spoiler, you know, the season where they kill him and replace him with a robot that will die at exactly the same age he would normally die, not making him any younger, smarter, or better looking. That's right, friends. I am the man you may know as he from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And before we get started, just remember, like, subscribe, do those fantastic things, touch our bells and buttons and whistles. It'll make you stronger. Anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about, we want to know why Picard, the show, sucks. You know, I have precluded myself from watching it, but I have watched enough reviews from Red Letter Media and some of the other channels out there to know not to watch the show because it would destroy all legacy that I had of the glorious show that was The Next Generation. So, why is it a problem? Perhaps, if you will, there was an interview on Deadline with Star Trek's Picard Patrick Stewart as to why the character has changed. So let's dig into the article a little bit. Maybe we'll get some answers for ourselves. I think it's possible. Let's get together, folks, and figure this one out. So after three decades of embodying Starfleet's legendary Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart says he was finally learned to embrace letting himself bleed over into his much beloved character. His, and this is a direct quote, my approach to my work has undergone significant changes in the last few years, and it has changed and developed because I've come to trust Patrick Stewart more than I used to and find that my instincts, my impulses, my feelings and emotions are authentic. He is in touch with his real self. Jean-Luc Picard is Patrick Stewart, and I am him. There is no separation anymore. I used my life continually when we were shooting season two and three of Picard. I am no longer afraid of doing that, which at one time in my career I would have been, but not anymore. I feel I have something to say, and I can only say it through the performances that I give. So in other words, in plain speak, he's not acting anymore. He's just showing up and collecting a paycheck and being Patrick Stewart. No longer will you get performances like the uh, four lights. You won't get that anymore. You'll only get regular old Patrick Stewart. Not so interested in that guy. Uh, He said that he was the first to plant seeds of possibility when the executive producer... Alex, the jerk Kurtzman, came to him and suggested that Picard's evolution might mirror his own. He said, It's 30 years since you were last Jean-Luc Picard. You've probably changed somewhat in that time in those 30 years. Different opinions, different feelings, maybe even ways of working. So he's saying, you know, this is not... (laughs) How do I be convincing that 25 to 30 years have passed? This is not the same Jean-Luc Picard that we all came to know and some of us to love. Some of us? What are you... He's one of the most beloved characters in television history. Literally next to Captain Kirk in Star Trek lore. There's been many, many captains and none seem to compare to the two of them. And you get differing opinions on which captain was the best captain. Very strange that he would say some of us love him. So now he just gave him, you know, now he's a he's an executive co-producer attached to his name for the first time. You know, he's fucking 80 and now he's executive producing and he was consulted and people talked about everything. How about you shut up and act? <laughs> How about you do that? Try acting. I'll get you some lessons, my friend. Ay, 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 ay. You wonder why there's only three seasons of this show. It's already done. Like, they already filmed season three. They're not doing anymore. Kurtzman is running Star Trek into the ground. Nobody watch. When they repeat episodes of Discovery on television, it gets beaten by repeats of things that came out like eight years ago. No one has interest in Star Trek anymore. 
none of it makes any sense. They started announcing that they were going to have another Star Trek, but didn't even tell Chris Pine and the rest of the Star Trek people that they were doing a movie. Don't have them under negotiation. None of them know what they're talking about. You have all these shows that nobody's watching. Picard, it's the first show. I can't believe that they're advertising season three and they haven't finished season two. And the way they're going to get to watch season two is telling you, guess what? Everybody's back. They, everybody. Everybody's back. All the old crew. Michael Dorn. They've already had a bunch of the, the other ones, but, um, you know, Dr. Crusher and everybody else. All those people. The whole crew. And it's just it's just a gimmick. Member berries to get you to come back. Why? Why are we doing this? Why, Picard? Why? Yeah, Marina Sirtis, Jonathan Frakes, who's already on it, Brent Spiner, LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden. I just, I don't understand. I, I, I don't get it. Not, not good. Sometimes giving people creative control is too much control. But I thought this was something interesting. It validates my reasons as to why I refuse to watch the show. I do find it amusing to watch the Red Letter Media guys go over it. I, I, that's probably more entertaining than the actual show because the clips I've seen from the show are horrific. Just ridiculous amounts of cursing and violence and, and dystopian nightmares, futures, and no sense of, uh, you know, this is supposed to be Starfleet. It's a military organization on some level. No respect for chain of command. Nothing makes sense. They're like, we're going to make our own thing, and it's not, we don't care. It's as if they never even watched the other shows, or they consulted somebody who told them, hey, throw this in because it's a good member berry. Anyway, what do you think? Or do you think that this is a bad decision but on their part to let Patrick Stewart have more control? Do you enjoy Picard? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong, and you guys love Picard. You're going to tell me I'm a fool down in the comments below. Do it. I challenge you. Uh, let me know what you think. You can catch our full-length live audio podcast. We have it. It's free everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, all those great places. We do live stream it Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the party. Everybody else does. And uh, as for me, I am on to the next one. <laughs>